Dios clamaba a ti, ver digno me justo me es, equio me salutare, nos tibi siempre rubi gratis a guerre. Oh Hannah, come and inflame us with such love as to light up our eyes that we shall never sleep in death.
Excuse me, but does anybody here speak English? Tell me where the church is, please. Great. Oh. I'm Peter. Didn't expect you to get here this quickly. I made it as fast as I could. Oh, don't feel badly about that. It's just because you're a stranger here. I've been here over a year. They still consider me an outsider. They don't have to worry about me. I'll be out of here as soon as I say my goodbye. Hey, thanks. You're tired, huh? I'll rest later. I'd like to see where my father died first. Look kind of like totem poles. Yeah, kind of. Ward off evil spirits? That's right. Looks like my father chose the right island to study primitive culture. Is the graveyard next to the uh, church up there? Yes. must be tired. I've got a room set for you at the inn. No, I'd rather stay in the uh, rectory in my father's room. My father really loved this church, didn't he? Among other things. He was restoring it when he died. Where is your sister? You'll meet her later. Why don't you change and I'll take you down to where your father is. 
Your father was a fine man. Really fine. You probably knew him better than I did. Don't feel badly, he understood. He used to say how he was digging into the past like an old snoop while you were building into the future. But he was very proud of you. Your father was getting into paganism, heathenism, and all the other things the island once went in for. Probably still does. I just can't understand how you get killed like that. Like I told you in the letter, we don't know. Well, he just wasn't a careless man. We didn't even know that your father had found this place. It's an old ruin that's been buried 600 years. The tomb itself is over 700 years old. He's under that. There was no way to get him out. I mean, we tried, but we couldn't budge it. Must weigh tons. The only thing I've been able to figure out is that these supports were old and about to give way, and your father brushed against one of them. What was he doing under there? I don't know. We never knew about this tomb. And there's a maze of tunnels coming in and out of here. How do you know about them? Why do you keep it a secret from everyone? I'm afraid that's something we'll never know. And there's nothing we can do. We can bury him. I'm not going to leave him here. This is the heraldry of the Dauphins. Mm -hmm. King Louis VII chose her for his bride. Was this island ever French? No. But King Louis touched down here once in the middle of the Second Crusade during the 13th century. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. I'm writing a historical novel about that crusade. Many of them. I remain. It implies forever. Hannah, 1269. For the sake of the dead and the welfare of the living, let this tomb remain untouched and its occupant undisturbed until the coming of Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, by order of His Majesty, King Louis VII. You know, Hannah was supposed to have been quite a beauty. The reason King Louis had brought her along in the Crusades was so that they could get married in the Holy Land after he conquered the heathens. What's that animal next to her supposed to represent? That's a werewolf. Do you mean that she was supposed to have been a vampire? So goes the myth. Oh, I see, I see. Vampires are never supposed to die, so she's in that tomb, fangs and all, ready to go after 700 years. Unless someone put a stake through her heart. Our only hope, according to my sister. We have very few facts. The fewer the facts, the harder it is to dispel superstition. Tell me the facts you do know. How do you separate fact from fantasy? Anyway, the story goes like this. King Louis left Lyon for the Crusades with 20,000 strong. At sea, there was a terrible storm, and the ship carrying the king's young bride, Anna, crashed on this island. The king was frantic over the lost ship and his lost bride. He searched and searched until he found the wreckage here. His wise men begged him not to come ashore, because in those days, this was known as Vampire Island. But the king overrode their fears and objections and landed with his men. He was a little too late. When he finally found his lost crew, they'd all become vampires. And Hannah? Mm-hmm. I see. And people actually believe a thing like this took place. Oh, yes. And so did your father. No way. There was never a man with a greater belief in science. His faith was unshakable. It has something to do with faith or science. He studied and watched and... Come on, Mary. You sound like you're beginning to believe that stuff yourself. It's written in that book. Signed by the king's personal monk. They found vampires. And the king ordered his crusaders to kill all of them. Ah, yeah. But when the knight held the pointed stake to the last vampire's heart, Hannah's, about to thrust it in and slay her, the king...
King went and stopped the knife from the murder. Even now, he was too much in love with his queen to see her put to death. So he ordered a great tomb built in which to inter her. And a scream for pity for her to be a living death. But the king's orders were followed. She was buried alive and forever in the marble tomb. Well, I'm going to move that tomb. And I'm going to bury my father. Sometimes they get to me too, especially on an empty stomach and after a long trip with no sleep. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Okay, then why don't you try and get some sleep? Good night. Pete? Hmm? I don't know, I just... I saw my father's face. I know. Sometimes I think I see it myself. Get up to early this morning with all this banging, but I had to get these hooks ready for the men to go to work. That's all right. Come on, Hussein. How'd you go for a nice cup of coffee? You bet. Good. Morning. Stick around about 20 years. Give him the chance. 
You know, it's quite a little setup you got here. Mm -hmm. Well, fishing is light for this island. It was your father's idea to lure the islanders here by providing them with a shop to make all the necessary equipment. Since I had the know-how, I helped him out. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. And so while I was banging away on fishing gear, he got to know him. Sort of like the neighborhood barbershop. Exactly. I guess he was also the local judge, doctor, marriage counselor. You got the picture. Hey, uh, where's Mary work? Her schoolroom is right around the corner there. Very good. Now, on tomorrow's geography test, I'll expect you to know the name and shape of every major island in the Mediterranean. <laughs> and since we live so close, all the countries between here and the India. And now, I want you to remember that anyone that I find playing in the cemetery will spend the whole day in the corner, just like Arda. Okay, school's out. <laughs> charm. Every time I run into one of the locals, I just seem to turn them off. <laughs> Look, teacher, could you just answer me one question? What are you doing here? Teaching school. And that's uh, what brought you to this miserable island? I had a few weeks off. I caught up to Peter here. I liked the island and I stayed. Mm -hmm. Traveled halfway around the world just to teach in this little room, right? Why not? Peter was the only family I had. Your father was a good friend. Darwin and vampires. Hell of a combination. What was my father after that scares you so much? You are frightened, aren't you? Yes, I'm frightened. Of vampires? I've learned not to scoff at unnatural things that seem unanswerable. There may be answers even if I don't know what they are. What are the answers? You wouldn't believe them. Do you think my father was starting to believe in this garbage? He was starting to. And you? That doesn't matter. It matters plenty because you're damn near accusing him of paganism, or worse. Look, I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm just telling you that they're meddling where you have no right. Burying my father isn't meddling. I warned you. I can't do anything more. You think you'll be able to lift it? We'll see. It's about four tons of marble. Do you think you can round up some strong backs to give me a hand? <laughs> I'm not going to be anxious. I'm going to need some help. I'll get him here. Good. Oh, I'll need enough lumber for scaffolds. I'll need uh, rocks and timbers to reinforce the foundation. Now, what are my chances for that? Uh, that part of it I'll guarantee. Okay. Is, is there anything on this island heavier than davits? I really, I've got to rig a strong hoist to lift this thing. seal. You can't. Well, it's too heavy otherwise. This tomb must weigh three tons. We've got to move it in two sections. Don't. She's in there. Only what's left of her is. Bones! 
That's all they can be after 700 years. They're opening the tomb. Ali! We've got to stop him before it's too late. No, we should help him, and I'm going to. Ah, you stay here. It's enough that those other fools went down there. But, but the American is a fine engineer, his father told me. His father said many things, and he's dead. But that was an accident. It was no accident. She caused it. Somehow. But Professor Bolton explained all about superstitions like that. He was a stranger. He didn't know. And his son doesn't understand either. What's there to understand? You can only believe what you see. No, Adnan. You can know and believe without seeing. Okay. We should be able to raise it now. Look, God damn it. I don't think that there's a man here who doesn't know the professor a favor. You, Islam, when your son fell off the cliff. And you, Hamid, your wife. You gave her medicine the whole night to break her fever. I mean, what kind of man are you? Do I have to get down on my knees to beg you to bury a man like that? After 700 years? It was some kind of lost embalming art. Well, like they did with the mummies. You know what Mary said? She said that my father was starting to believe in vampires. He couldn't have believed that stuff if he wanted. But he didn't. Well, I don't know. There's just no logical explanation for all this. Your father had a saying. Logic comes by the cold light of dawn.
was a wolf running out of that stinking fog. It killed my bunny. It came straight at me. Blood dripping from its mouth. If you doesn't stop scaring him, we're never going to get him back to work. Abdul Hamid, listen. You know there are no wolves on this island. It was a wolf from her tomb. Oh, it was probably just a wild dog. Your imagination's playing tricks on you. You fool. You freed the vampire. And my dog lies dead to prove it. That's a myth! It's a story for old women and children! No telling when she'll find all the sealed up vampires. And they'll go cavorting around naked, holding black mass, sucking up little baby's blood. Nothing evil they won't try and do. He's got him convinced. Why shouldn't they be? It's the truth. You don't believe this stupid superstition. Put away them college books and get yourself some dog bane and garlic flowers to keep that she-wolf down. Because I want to tell you something. You let Hannah loose. Just give her a couple more days to get back her strength. Vampire Island it was and will be again. You started Hana back to killing. We can't forgive you that. That tomb's got to be sealed back fast. Going out as a wolf, she can only get other animals. But soon, she's strong enough to go out on her own. She'll be coming after us. It's our only chance. We've got to help. We've got to go as fast as we can. Now that she has blood, she will be different. You with eyes, look at her face. You will see. You will see.
So frightened. We kept hearing rumors of a devil's cult on the island. And then after the accident, there seemed to be no escape. I felt all alone. Well, Peter was here. He would never believe any of it. I did everything I could to get him to wrap up his research here and leave the island with me. But he got us hung up on all the misses your father had. And then when you arrived, I wanted to move the tomb. It seemed as if some awful plan was unfolding. As if what was happening was meant. I mean, that it was all a plan in order to free Hannah from her tomb. Look here, little girl. Why didn't you tell me all this when I first got here? You never would have believed me. I only thought of one thing. To leave everything as it was. To take no chances. You cold? Do you want to go on back in? Can we stay a little while longer? It's the first time I felt secure in such a long time. Do you mind? No, I don't mind.
picked the dog, baby. It's uh, almost finished to put around Hannah. They'll keep her in all right. We send astronauts to the moon and weave magic flowers to protect ourselves from vampires. Seems to me we haven't come very far in the last thousand years. You'll feel lots worse if she gets out tonight. What about the wolf part of her? She can't get past them flowers, neither. Well, she's beaten either way. Tomorrow we're gonna have that lid back on her. Maybe. She's smart. 700 years smart. And she ain't about to get sealed up again, if she can help it. You know this is crazy? Crazy! Before the moon comes up, make sure that dog pain is around Hannah's tomb. It is the only thing that will keep her in there. In the act, huh? Oh, okay, uh, I approve. <laughs> and how I approve. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Pete, because I want to take Mary away from this island. Why, that's great. <laughs> Just great. I should never let her come in the first place. <laughs> Chris, that's not fair. I never said I'd go. Oh, yes, you'll go. And the sooner the better. But who'll take care of you? Who's going to take care of Screwball Brother? Oh, Pete, I didn't mean it to sound like that. Well, you see, Chris, I was a bloody genius. Jeed, Hemingway, Mailer. I, mean, I could put them all away. Come on, Peter. Betwixt the word and the deed, I mean, getting it down on paper. Something didn't connect. I mean, I had plenty of ideas. I saw the whole scene before it started. Once I got into the research, I'd get hung up. And I never wrote the book. So what did I do? I dropped out. I mean, I tried every scene in the book and then some. You name it, I did it. I took uppers and downers and inners and outers until I was blown out, spaced out, beat up, shot up. And I tripped. And I ripped. I mean, I shot everything but aspirin. Till I blew my house down. Thank God for Mary. She came in just in time and dragged that cat out of there. You're like a reformed hooker. I mean, man, I'm functioning now. This island, your father, Mary, it all straightened out my head. You know something? I'm writing good stuff now. So, my sister, my nursemaid, my friend, don't you think it's time you began concentrating a bit on your own life? Maybe Chris here is just the guy to help you do it. Don't you think?
My father would kill me if he knew what I was doing. Just make sure that steak is good and sharp, or we're all dead. Are you really gonna stick this through her heart? I'm blind, yet I'm the only one that can see what's happening. Sure, I'm going to kill her. It's the only way to stop her. Let's get on with it. The men will be getting to work soon. I was taught by Professor Bolton that vampires are myths. That they aren't real. They're real enough. If you ever feel her fangs sinking in your neck. What do you want me to do? All you have to do is lead me into the tomb. Show me where her heart is. Then make sure I drive the stick right into it. Do you really believe that Hannah is 700 years old? It doesn't make any sense. It'll make sense if you wake up some morning with two holes in your neck. But what if she comes after us? I told you to bring a cross. Hold it over her. It's like dog bane. Burns through her like acid. before the men get back to work. Do you hear me? Adnan! I'm coming as fast as I can! Seal her back up this afternoon. You satisfied now? Maybe. But I don't know what she's figuring out in there. Well, we'll give her another couple of hundred years to think it over. Let's take him home. Will you men come back later? Why? Isn't one victim enough for you? We may never know what went on down there. But we know this. He was trying to put an end to Hannah. He was trying to rid this island of her and the vampire superstition that's haunted you all for generations. Now, if he was right... He was right. Why else is he dead? Uh, all right. If he was right, then the only way out is for us to finish what he started. How? The lid is covering her heart. There's no way to kill her. Yes, there is. If we move the tomb like we started to do, then we'll seal the lid back on her tight. And we, forever. We tried and failed. We can't. We can if every man will help. Now I can fix that rigging. With a little bit of muscle, we can do this job, and we can do it quickly.
who would do this thing to my son? Whoever killed the old sailor and tried to carry off Mary. Come, let us sit with our dead. That's all very well and good, but remember there's still Hannah. She's in back of all this. The killing won't stop until we get her buried again and sealed up in her tomb. Hey! How do you know? I saw her. Now get crucifixes, stakes, warn everybody you see. Ali, did you hear that? Hannah's escaped. Look, have you seen Mary? I haven't seen her. Search the whole island. We'll go down to the beach. We'll search your words. Warn everybody. The torches. Get process. How did she get out? I can chance her now. This way. Come on with me. Hurry up again.
Chris, are you down there? I've been waiting for you. Chris! For all those faithful to you, Hannah, life is changed, not in De profundos clamavi a te, ver digno me justo mes, equia me salutare. Hear me, O oh Hannah, for you are our all and our strength. In you who rise from the dead dawns our hope of resurrection. Rising, you restore our life. You promise immortality. Oh, Peter. De profundos clamavi a te. Mary! 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 Get out of here. Peter. Get out! Come away with me, Peter. No. I shall have immortality. Immortality? Happiness. That which you already have in this life. Rejoice in it. Live it. Believe me. I will not leave you. You already have. You've taken on a lover. Oh, Hannah, my life and my all. Peter, stop then this. Flame me with such love as to light Peter, my listen eyes to me. So that I shall never sleep in death. Peter, it'll be like before. You and me. I shall never die but live. Oh, my God. That's blasphemy. This is a sacred temple. Such love is to light up my eyes so that I shall never sleep in death. I'll leave Chris, I'll stay with I you. I shall not die but live. Do you understand me, Peter? And We're living, always shall... stay together. Mary. That. Oh, that I'm saved. Saved from the tortures and the heaviness. Yes, Peter. Yes, my darling. Come. Come away with me. Peter, come quickly. Mary, she's come for us. It would be her angels of death. Couriers for our devil goddess. Lightly we shall make our rounds hand in hand. The only world where the love of brother and sister is blessed and not cursed. Oh, how I've worked for this day. Struggled to set Anna free. You mean you killed Chris's father? He would have tried to prevent my setting her free. And Chris? Chris only helped. Come 
come to nourish our souls and rejoice in us, your two faithful servants who wish to be united to each other and to you forever and eternally. Meditabor in mandates tuis, Ique delexi valde. Come, O Hannah, for we will delight in your commands which we love exceedingly. Here in the clinic. Look over there. All right. It's so dark. Look down by the creek. All right. most sacred proof of our desire to join you in a better world. Witness and receive our blood oath. Corpus et sanguinum. Listen to me. I'll stand by you. I'll help you in any way I can if you'll just let me get you and your sister out of this place. Just hold on. Everything's going to be all right. I've always been your friend.
you to stay in my room until I get back. What are you going to do? I'm going to find Hannah. She only has till dawn to get all the blood she needs. Now, here, take these flowers and wrap them around you. You'll be all right. Go on. There. There she is. I see her. Hungry, aren't you? You need more blood. Well, here I am, Hannah. Why don't you try me? Come on, Hannah. Come on. There's only one more hour till sunrise, and I won't let you back in your tomb.
someone up there. Did you do what I told you to do? Yes. Come out and play now. They're gone. I don't like the sunlight. Come in here to me. <laughs> <laughs> 